So, on the on the episode of Raw, we end up getting the actual news that CM Punk is going to be out and can make it to WrestleMania this year. He had a torn pack, pretty much. And his promo was great. You know, him, you know, basically saying that this ain't going to keep him down. He's still going to keep on going. Uh, talking about his friend and, you know, uh, that has cancer along with Eric, like, actual, you know, like, real working people that's like, y'all go through this every day, y'all go through things every day, and y'all keep on going, so this ain't nothing compared to what y'all got to do, kind of thing, which is cool, and then Drew McIntyre came out, you know, basically said he prayed for him, and I was like, that's funny, um, and then you stomped him out on this pack, you know, just to solidify, like, he ain't coming back for a while, um, so, at, at least with the punk part, I, I was like, it sucks that Punk is going to be out well past WrestleMania, especially because at least all what is seen that it was going to be Rollins versus Punk at WrestleMania. But I do think there is a silver lining in this and that, okay, so he's going to be out. And... You know, I was like, at some point, we'll get, you know, like, after WrestleMania or whatever, or leading up to it or so, something, we'll get, like, the actual, you know, confirmation that that, that was going to actually be the match that was going to be WrestleMania. But, ain't it, as we're not going to get that, it's one of them things that I think is bittersweet. Like I said, it has a silver lining to it. Like, it sucks you won't get that match this year. That doesn't mean we won't get that match. We can we could get that match. To be honest, I think like one, we could do this whole thing like Cody and Seth. You know, Cody came to WrestleMania, fought Seth. So when he came back, then not too long after that, we also got the you know Hell in a Cell. And I forget where the third match was at. Um, but you could do this in the same fashion. CM Punk is out. They were supposed to fight at WrestleMania. Well, say I was like when he comes back, be like four or five months. Uh, you ha- I was like you basically save him and do it at SummerSlam. By then, Seth, Rock- Seth won't have the title, so you can have the first one just be a fir- like a one-off match. Say CM Punk gets that one. Then you have another one, say, you know, like some virus series or something like that. Cody, I mean, Seth, I was like, Seth gets that one. CM Punk wins the first one, my bad. Uh, I was like, it doesn't matter. It's interchangeable. You can have CM Punk gets the first one just because he's coming off an injury. And that'd be like his real first match, you know, you know, at least us seeing it live. So you give him the first one. You give Seth the second one. Then somehow in there. You can have Seth get the title back. And oh, I was like, and just have them face off at WrestleMania that year for the for the belt. And by this year, Roman won't have the title, more than likely. I was like, Cody will have the title, but Cody isn't too he's a lot more of willing to give you Matt night two if the if it warrants it. So he could get his main shot. You could have him win the Rumble. You know, you could do all that stuff. So you could still play off this story, you know, just a more long haul. Also, I think this helps the, the to quench the, I would like to quench the thirst and not to get overhydrated. You know, you never know how crowds could be. I was like, Yes, no one ever, you know, CM Punk has been this guy, you know, for however long, and it never seems to end. You know, people still chant his name, people still want him to go. So I was like, it was never going to end up being like, oh, CM Punk retired, this guy. But what I'm saying, it helps because now you got a taste of CM Punk. He came back, you got to hear the promo, you got to see him in the Rumble, you got to see, you got to see him. He's back, he's here. And yes, you're going to get the big climactic match. But now, guess what? Now you hold on to it, and then guess what? They all say something about the weight. I don't know. But I feel like a great philosopher said it. 
and time holds no bounds like a no that's not the right one either way when he comes back everybody's gonna be so happy everybody gonna be so ecstatic and that sort of just draws out even more of his length of being here him having the matches needed and all that other stuff so i think it helps on that front more than it would you would think would hurt it. It's not like any like a regular superstar whose momentum is like rising and then they get hurt and then it's just like, well, damn. Now you know now you don't know how they're gonna come back. You know, you gotta pump them up a you know better. You know you don't know how that's gonna go. But with CM Punk, you know it's just gonna increase and it's gonna be more powerful. So I think that's one. I think that's another thing that helps out this situation. Um. The the match of Seth also, you know, I said you could build it up to build up the story and you could do a Cody S, but I was like, just the match itself in general is now just going to have more anticipation to it because you just can't wait to see what that is about. And I think it helps us. I think it helps his long story of getting the WrestleMania match without it seeming too Cody-ish. Even though it's gonna have a lot of similarities to it, I like that was my that was sort of my fear is that even if Seth say Seth and CM Punk face off at WrestleMania, do is that his goal? I mean, he wants to he wants to do main event WrestleMania, and if he main events night one and not night two, are we just speaking about semantics? Like, well, how are we doing this? And I feel like that is sort of cheaping out the point of if he's like, I wanted the main roster spot. Now, yes, if they turn heel, it could work. But if he's like, I wanted the main roster spot, that wasn't the main roster. I mean, the main main event. But it was the main event. It was not the main event. And I feel like that could sort of wane in his message that way, even though he's good to work around that type of thing. But now, I, next year, when you don't have the Seth reign and the Roman reign, and possibly you have different women's champions, you know, where, you know, like Rhea, you know, like the, the thought process of Rhea and Becky main event. So, you know, you're thinking about like giving her the main event shot, you know, maybe Bailey, EO, if this thing kicks up, they get the main event shot. Next year is wide open to where he had a better possibility of actually getting the main event on night two. So I think that long term view. It, like all this is optim, optim, an optimistic way of looking at things because you can't do anything but get dealt with the hand that you got. So, yeah, I think that in all aspects, this is actually thing that could work out in the favor of CM Punk and WWE. I like I I think it, I think it helps on all fronts, and I think it also frees up. For all those other wrestlers here that either might have had a shot until CM Punk came through, you know, since it was a, it's a foregone conclusion, uh, and essentially that Cody and Roman is going to be the uh, the match. So now Seth has an opening to maybe the, some of them other ones that before Punk came back that we thought like could be in the spot or you see how top end it is right now of like so many people vying for that spot now so now you could do different type of matches that you wasn't going to go do and i not that it gives hope to the other ones because you know it's wrestling we everybody there understands but it does help to know like okay cool i still got a chance to be in the storyline to do my if in their story basically um, but it still sucks that CM Punk, especially the first time that, you know, outside of like the, the touring circuit, got to really see him. And that's where it happened amongst, you know, like the Royal Rumble than anything. That's so that sort of sucks in that, in that aspect. But it, I was like, I mean, I, at least not, maybe not for me, but I was like, I'd rather it happen there than on some house show or, you know, just a, Meh, match on Raw. I I'd rather it happen in the Royal Rumble where it's like I'm trying to win a shot to the, to pay for the championship than just a regular match that was just there in a sense, you know. If, if you get what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, sucks. I was like, can't wait to see when he comes back. 
I was like, his promo with Drew was really good to where it's like, which I think the way they're setting it up, they're setting up a lot of things that could, that could, that could come out with any type of results to where it's like, ooh, how, how are we going to come out of WrestleMania after this? But anyway, I was like, that's how I just feel about the CM Punk situation. I was like, uh, basically taking an optimistic approach. I feel like that's sometimes hard to do uh, with wrestling fans. But anyway, liked any of the ideas? Tell me what you think, uh, how you feel about the whole thing. What do you think will come of it uh, as far as, like, his journey and his part of it? Uh, WWE, well, they'll figure out that in. And I was like, it's more just, like, what we can expect or what we or how we already try to fantasy book him coming back kind of thing. Anyway, till next time, out.